Imagine being so evil that you decide to cheat on a charity event. Well, this was the case for Indian billionaire Nikhil Kamath against world champion Vichy Anand. Or even having to cheat against one of the best players in history Magnus Carlsen, but even a chess engine couldn't help you win. This video is all about chess cheaters getting caught and banned from the chess community. First, we're starting off with billionaire businessman Nikhil Kamath. In a charity chess tournament, Nikhil, who has a rating of 400 on chess.com, faced off against world champion Vichy Anand. Now, the chances of him winning this game are practically zero. The same chances I have of getting a billion dollars in my bank account as a gift from Mark Zuckerberg. In the tournament, the game started off as normal. Both players started moving their pieces trying to gain an advantage, with Anand having the upper hand at all times. But Nikhil looked to be playing much better than people expected, playing the best moves and putting real pressure on Anand. This raised some suspicion within the viewers as they noticed Nikhil looking to his side before playing his moves. Most probably, he had a chess engine running telling him what the best move was on every turn. Now of course, nobody raised this concern during the tournament, and even commentators were shocked at how well he was playing. Look at this chat, this is brilliant, Queen A2, the rook is hanging and rook D1, Vishy has to make a move like H3. They probably noticed it, but you can't just publicly accuse a billionaire of cheating, so the game went on. Closing in on the end game, it was clear that Nikhil had the advantage in the game and was clearly winning against the world champion and the commentators could not believe it. A queen move to c5 forces Anand to move his king to h1, preparing for a checkmate. Nikhil looks to his side to get info on what he should do next and plays the move rook to c1. Anand blocks with his knight and now the game is almost over. Nikhil is attacking Anand's rook and threatening a checkmate and there's not much Anand can do. However, Due to distractions, you know what I mean by distractions, Nikhil is heavily down on time with just 13 seconds on his clock compared to Anand's 9 minutes. Now Anand has two options, stretch out the play and flag Nikhil winning the game on time or resigning and raising even more suspicion around Nikhil's cheating. After some thinking, Anand decides to resign. Later though, Nikhil admitted that he was cheating the whole game and apologized to the whole chess community. Imagine being that evil. It's a charity tournament, no need to act hard against the world champion. Even though Nikhil managed to get the win, this next cheater could not. Even with the help of an engine, nothing could beat the best player in the chess history, Magnus Carlsen. Magnus was playing chess online and streaming at the same time, when he ran into a player called Alexander K, rated 2118, which later turned out to be cheating. The game started with Magnus opening with the knight to f3, and after a few normal moves played by both players, they decide to exchange queens. Magnus moves his knight to g5, setting a fork on the king and rook. Alexander dodged the bullet by moving his king away. Normal gameplay continued with the game being slightly balanced between both players, but it shouldn't be that way. Magnus Carlsen, the best player arguably in history, playing against someone almost 700 rating points below him should be a very easy win, but not when this player is cheating and using an engine. Both players continued playing their moves and it was clear that Alexander was playing the best move each time, especially when he moves his knight away to c6. Yeah, this guy is playing really well. Trading the rooks and then the knight and bishop, Magnus here didn't really think much of it and continued playing. They went back and forth in the endgame and Magnus played until Alexander was out of time, thus winning the game. It was later confirmed that Alexander was using Stockfish to play his moves. A chess engine that is considered one of the best in the world. Even Stockfish couldn't defeat Magnus. What a player. Before we talk about the last cheater that challenged Grandmaster Eric Hansen to a $250 game of chess and later getting caught cheating, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Phones are banned at chess tournaments because of chess software that can be used to suggest winning moves, but that did not stop a Grandmaster from cheating. In 2019, Grandmaster Igor Rossi started raising suspicion, as he became the oldest player in the top 100, reaching number 40 in the live rankings list. He was later photographed using a phone engine in a bathroom stall and banned for 6 years as a result, losing his title in the process. When approached for a comment at the time, Rossi said, I am not interested, the damage is already done. However, Rossi is not the first player caught using a phone in the bathroom. Grandmaster Gauzy Galidze, I'm not sure if I pronounced his name right, did the same thing 4 years prior. In an incredible irony, it was Grandmaster Tigran Petrosian who suspected the cheating and tipped off the arbiter, who found the phone complete with the game position on the screen. The irony, of course, is that five years later, Petrosian himself was caught cheating in the Pro Chess League tournament of 2020, in what, at the time, was probably the biggest chess cheating scandal since Fisher's 1962 complaints. Coming to our last cheater of the day, we have ESAP12, rated 978, playing against a Grandmaster Eric Hansen, rated 2311, in a $250 game live on stream. On paper, this should be easy work for the Grandmaster. He could even play blindfolded and still win if he wanted to. However, as the game progressed, it didn't look that way. Even Eric was a bit surprised with how well ESAP12 was playing. Man, he's playing really well. I didn't know he knew this line. Considering he was playing lines an average 900 rated player is not supposed to be skilled at and no. But one move tipped off Eric and made him realize that he is probably playing a cheater. 
A king move to h1 raises suspicion, and it showed on his face. This 900 is not messing around. King h1. Holy smokes. I mean, I am a 950 rated player, and I only move my king if my opponent puts it in check. I don't randomly move it if it's in a safe square. Yeah, I suck, but that's the point. I am only 900 rated, just like ESAP 12. The game continued with the cheater always playing the best move on the board, like playing his rook to g1 in order to stack up his queen and rooks, and trapping Eric's queen on the side. Few moves later, Eric's position got worse and worse. With the trio of two rooks and queen beaming down on his king, Eric was doing everything in order to stop the attack and gain an advantage. He later had to give up his queen after a checkmate threat. The game was over in a few moves after queen to g4, giving the win to 978 rated ESAP 12 against Grandmaster Eric Hansen. After the game, the cheater had an accuracy of 97.8, an incredible feat for such a low rated player, with 33 best moves and one brilliant move according to the engine. This confirmed that he was in fact cheating. He was then reported and banned from the platform. Remember, don't cheat, play fair, and enjoy the game. And don't forget to subscribe.